Hello everyone, this is Michelle Weens from Performance High. And um, today, I'm, I've been off of Facebook uh, Lives for just a few weeks, just kind of regrouping and um, kind of figuring out what direction I want to move into next with some of these. Um, and today I'm gonna go uh, with something a little different. Um, I'm going off script today, so this is all, um, this is all just out of my heart. Um, and the inspiration for this talk today called ECG, uh, what makes my heart beat came from, um, a meeting I went to yesterday. I, I'm a part of the polka dot powerhouse of the treasure Valley, which is a female only, um, connection group. It's, uh, it's kind of a networking group, but really it's more of a connection group. And we had a great speaker yesterday. Her name was Becca Johnson. Um, so I got to give a shout out to her for this information that I'm bringing today and the inspiration for today. Um, but her, her talk was on, um, you know, kind of finding who you are. Um, and it got me thinking about uh, how I put that into my business. And sorry, this is going to be rough. It's going to be a little bit um, not not so straightforward, not so direct, um, a little bit vulnerable. So I might start crying. So if that happens, just kind of go with me, folks. It'll be okay. Um, but uh, I got to thinking about, um, you know, who am I and how does that show in my business? And it brought me, that thought process brought me to a specific part of my business that um, really does speak to my heart. And I think this part is really the ECG, um, which I will, I will talk about that in just a second, is really the ECG part of my business. Um, the ECG is an acronym, and you've probably heard it in terms of medical stuff. Um, it's, you know, it's the, I think, the scan of your heartbeat. Um, but uh, in, to, in the terms that I'm using today, in the terms that Becca used, um, the E stands for your essence. So what, what of you is like the thing that just that just really what 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 are the pieces that really speak to who you are um what are the things about you that really speak to who you are um i'm just gonna quick look at my notes here this she said it great she said this is your gift um you know what are the parts about you that are only you and nobody else um so that's the e that stands for essence the c stands for convictions so what are um, the things that you stand for and the things that you stand against? Um, those are the things that um, very few people will, under, will really get. A lot of people won't get it, um, get those about you, but a few people will, and those people will make really strong connections with you. And then the G is for giftedness. So um, what are the specific things about you that are your gifts that you give out to the world? And um, I got to thinking about um, that about about that part of who you know who am I and how does that show in my business and um, I think you know the part of my business that this really comes out is hey AJ thanks for watching um, the part of my business that this part that this part of me really comes out is um, in the swim lessons that I do with folks that have fear and anxiety so um, I call them my FOWs my fear of water people and um, they are an amazing bunch and it's a group of people that I really never thought I would. I mean, when I started my business, I never even dreamed that I would be working with people like this. Um, I had it in my mind that I was, you know, going to be working with lots of um, elite triathletes and elite swimmers and my swim lessons were going to be all about teaching them to have, you know, better arm entry and better kicks and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I, I do that kind of stuff for a lot of adults. And I really love that part too. People that already swim and um, are just looking to get better at their technique. I do a bunch of that and I love that part too. But somehow along the line, I started working with people that had fear and anxiety in the water. Um, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> um, people that um, have had some really traumatic things happen to them. Um, I have probably one of the most extreme situations, the extreme gals that I had. Um, she uh, got trapped under the ice when she was like eight or nine years old. And um, thankfully her uncle pulled her out. 
Um, but what a, you know, what a scary thing, horrible thing to have happen to you. And um, she came to me when she was, I believe in her early fifties. And she had, she told me she had never taken a shower. Um, she couldn't stand to have water on her head, which of course I'm sure, you know, brought back these horrible memories of being uh, under the ice pack. Um, so, uh, but she was, I mean, she was amazing. Just like all those, all the other people that, that come to me that have fear and anxiety, um, that have had things that have happened to them where, you know, they had their, um, well, very well-meaning father who said, Hey, you're going to learn how to swim and threw them into the, into the water, um, or had, you know, terrible experiences with swim lessons, um, or whatever. doesn't matter what it is. Um, something, something in their background that caused them to be particularly anxious and particularly fearful of water. Anyway, I started somehow along the way, some, somebody along the way came to me for help. And um, I really don't have a ton of experience to help these people. Um, I mean, I grew up as a swimmer, so being afraid of water is not in my background. But I tell you what, um, just in thinking about um, the ECG part, the, um, the essence, the convictions and the giftedness part of who I am. Um, I actually think that I'm pretty well set up to work with these people because, um, you know, my gift, um, is, is patience. My gift is empathy. Um, I can connect really easily and an emotional level with people. Um, and <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, and I tell you what, you got to have patience and you got to have empathy and you got to be willing to listen um, to what these people are telling you when they are um, sitting on the side of the pool or standing in the water up to their chest and they're um, trying to explain what they're what they're going through. And, um, you know, I've, I've heard so many stories from these people of um, swim lessons where uh, they've the, the, the instructor has, you know, looked at them and said, well, you know, you just got to put your head in the water and you got to start kicking and you just got to kick harder and you just got to like submerge and you just got to keep kicking. And, um, you know what, you can't not have somebody who's afraid, just put their head in the water and start kicking. That absolutely doesn't work. Um, there is a very long process, a very step-by-step -step process to get them to a point where, they are comfortable enough to even submerge up to their chin, um, comfortable enough to put their mouth in the water, comfortable enough to learn how to blow bubbles out of their nose. Um, it's, it's a long process and it's slow. And, um, but you know what, when you can, when you can break through those little pieces, um, and get people to a point where they, where they can take control of, um, their body in the water and they can start to actually enjoy it, which, you know what, the day that those people say to me, I actually enjoy being in here um, and they're laughing um, instead of, you know, hyperventilating, um, it's like the best day in the world. And it's like a feeling like I don't get in anything else. And I'll tell you what, um, the gal who got stuck under the ice, um, we did probably 25 lessons and um, she got to a point where she could jump off the side of the pool into 12 foot water and she could roll to air and she could, she could take remedial strokes to get herself to the side. And, um, that day was unbelievable. I mean, both of us were like completely in tears and crying and hugging and I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing stuff. And I just really believe that, um, the, the things that I have in terms of, again, you know, patience and empathy and um, I'm an introvert by nature. So being able to just be with people when they're scared and afraid um, and just, you know, calmly work through those things with them is um, that's that's the part that that I give out. That's the part of the ECG part that I give out. And it particularly comes out in um, those swim lessons. So if you are out there and you have fear and anxiety, please don't let it stop you. We can work through it and we can, we can get through that stuff and we can get you to a place where you can at least um, feel comfortable in the water, if not actually enjoy it. 
Um, it's a long process. It doesn't happen overnight, but do not let that stop you because there's plenty of people um, that, that to, together we've, we've made that transition. And in fact, some of them we've even turned in, I've even helped become a swimmer. So um, you can do it. If you're out there, you can do it. Okay, I think that's, that's where I'm gonna stop. Um, sorry for all the emotional stuff, but um, I just thought I'd share that. And um, thank you to Becca Johnson for uh, the talk yesterday, which encouraged me to think this through and um, share it with you. So um, if you feel like there's somebody out there that you know that would benefit from hearing this, um, somebody who has some fear and anxiety, please share it with them uh, and let them know that there is help and I'm happy to do it. So thank you all for watching and uh, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you next week.